big McDankies from McSpankies. <laughs> Dude, you missed a spot. I got it. Just a little sodium chloride. Actually, it's called salt. That's what I said. Sodium chloride. You know, Jimmy? Well, I can't say that you've ever been responsible for helping out the town. You also created or influenced the vast majority of major threats in the first place. The Yolkins only came to Retroville because of your signal. Same goes for Meddler Prime. The Nanobots, Shernley, and Evil Jimmy were all your creations. You caused the Ice Age. You created the Sentient Pants. You made the Sick Patch. You turned your teacher into a 50-foot monstrosity. And you injured Santa Claus, almost ruining Christmas. The vast majority of this town's problems are caused at least indirectly or directly by you. And you know what? In all honesty, that would be fine. You are very intelligent, and you almost always do fix it. And that's, in the end, extremely unlikely that you don't end up benefiting in the world a lot more than you do damage it. My children and my children's children are probably going to live in a world free of war and disease, and I'll have you to thank for that. But fuck, dude. You can't keep using your intelligence as a way to escape your humanity. I didn't ask you to say salt because I thought a customer would seriously care because I was insecure. I did it because it made you look weird, and I was trying to get you to adopt behaviors and use language that makes you come across like a normal fucking person. Everyone knows what sodium chloride is, but calling it outside the context of chemistry class makes you seem like everyone who defines themselves solely by their intelligence, which is undeniably who you are. I know that you think there's nothing wrong with that. But being a person, dude, that, that's where it is. Taking your IQ and deciding that it elevates you above the rest of the planet is an awful decision. That will lead you to a life filled with misery and alienation. It will color every Ill interaction but uh, you ever have and make it impossible to have real life friends or relationships. I'm not saying that you won't have any, but they won't hold any meaning to you and they certainly won't bring you any happiness. Sure, you'll probably manage a pity fuck uh, or two by your sophomore year of college after getting some drunk sobriety girl, a jetpack ride, and, you know, it'll bring you nothing but emptiness. You'll eventually abandon women altogether and decide that your true love is science, secretly seething inside whether you see a guy, Nick, or Bobby getting married to someone he really cares about. Who cares about him? You'll say, I'm exaggerating, but dude, look, how you treat the people in your life now, Carl and Sheen, quirks aside, you really do seem like you're a good friend, and they go through some serious shit. I mean, I'm helping you out of a scrape. Can you say can you say that you see them in the same way as anything other than the two kids your age willing to put up with your ridiculous ego? What have you ever done for them? Inventing stuff doesn't count, dude. Even when you build up something for someone's use, you're really only doing that for you. Every Llama Bot or Ultra Lord simulator is only created with the exception of further praise. They're not friends to you. They're worshippers. And your parents? Lord, the way you treat them. You think I've got folks that care about the way you and your mom and your dad do working in a shithole like this? I wish every day your dad watches you scarf down dinner, your mom slave to cook for you, and prays that you might think about spending some actual time with him. <laughs> instead of disappearing into your lab and doing god knows what. They watch you toy with dimensional warping science that they can't wrap their minds around on a daily basis and you laugh at them worrying about you. Have you ever had catch with your- have you ever played catch with your dad, Jimmy? Have you ever asked him how his day at work was? You don't have a clue what I'd do for a dad like yours in my life, dude. What about your mom? Why not invent something that'll make her life easier instead of gallivating around the Bermuda Triangle to play with your frickin' seaweed? We both know that the reason she would thank you for it, she'd be happy to imagine a version of you that thought of for an instant th th about the reason she would need to thank for it. Anyways, you're fired from Miss McSpanky's, dude, so get out of here and give me your uniform.